Hi guys, Patrick Johnston here, managing broker, co-owner, of course, of GoDominicanLife.com and LasTerrenasLife.com here in beautiful Las Terrenas, Samana in the Dominican Republic. Here is another story, and I want to tell you this story because it's going to affect you uh, in your 1.0 life to your 2.0 life. So let's walk and talk. All right. So the challenge with what you're about to embark on when you're considering uh, coming down here, spending time with us, and going through the options for your new life, or your secondary life as I call it too, is that it is a very personal choice. It is something that you or you and your husband or wife uh, have been focused on and dreaming about. They're about your goals and dreams. And especially, let's call it in the last two years, uh, you've had to pay some sacrifices of your personal time or extra money, or your business has been booming, or it's been difficult. But at the end of the day, it is a personal choice. The difficulty you're going to have is the same difficulties that everybody has in this experience is when you start going like this because you're so excited and you put something on Facebook or Instagram or you text your mother, your grandmother, your sister, your uncle, your aunt, your neighbor, your dog, maybe your dog will be fine. But the natural tendency is for all of those other people, other than you as a person or you and your partner, is that everyone is going to have an opinion and they're going to do everything possible to convince you that it is the worst case scenario that you are ever going to do. The country is corrupt. Uh, there's going to be a coup in the Dominican Republic. Um, the peso is going to drop. The US dollar is going too high or too low. I can't believe you're going. We're in a pandemic. I can't believe you're doing this. What about Corona? What about Omicron? Whatever. <laughs> because this is not their dream or goal. It's your dream and goal. And people have a natural tendency in like a herd mentality that they want everybody to stay the same and not make any changes to either their life or their social, social situation for you as friends and family, etc. So you have to be very careful or firm in your mind that the, your goals and dreams are your private goals and dreams and it wouldn't not be serving you to tell everybody everything in your excitement because it's not going to serve you because all of those other opinions don't really matter. They're doing it out of love and other reasons, but they're afraid. They're afraid they're going to have you leave the country and never come back again. Uh, they're going to be afraid that for just to be afraid. And in the last two years, I mean, people can be afraid of, uh, you know, you know, you're, the very obvious is you're in the lineup in the bank and you have a, <coughs> everybody thinks we're going to die now <laughs> just because of a single cough. So I, I believe strongly that do your business, do your personal business, get excited together. Maybe you have a very tight circle of like-minded people that are considering doing the exact same thing. Talk to them about it. But even that, try not to have your outside influencers that have no personal financial connection to you to influence you to say that your 2.0 life is not valid, good, or beneficial for you. You know, I, I can say on uh, my Facebook personal account, when I relocated here because it was time for me to have a new life that I explained in the previous video. 
I had people that disconnected from me. People said I was doing the absolute wrong thing. How can you do that? You have children. No, it's called life. All you're doing, technically, is changing your home base. And that's if you're doing it full time. If you're not doing it full time, you don't have to be concerned about everyone's opinion. But it's very natural to uh, be a sponge to feel their pain or discomfort or their fear. But in the end of the day, it's not about them. It's about you. So I had to also disconnect my feelings from what I was embarking on. And so I'm so fortunate that I stuck to my guns. I did what was best serving me. I can now better serve those that were part of my circle, even though they disconnected from me, some of them, but some of them came back because they now realize that, you know what, Patrick, you did it in Canada. You retired, you gave back your real estate license, you reloco relocated with not a total business plan, but you had a, a goal, a dream, and you're taking action. And now I have a larger business right here in three different parts of the country. I don't speak Spanish, I have a team of 15, and we are doing exactly what I did there, right here, and I'm coaching everybody along the way to make sure their life improves. And this is what we're going to do with you. You just have to believe and trust that your mind, your goals and dreams are yours and they're valid, and then work with people and associate yourself with people that can help you make that happen. Okay? That's the word of the day. I'm Patrick Johnston, Managing Broker, GoDominicanLife.com. Make sure you like, subscribe, share. Tell me what you want to see next. Okay? Don't forget, you can always text me right here at my WhatsApp number, 829-525-1782. Let's make things happen.